In this section, I am going to show you how to create a new workbook and save it in a suitable place. By default, Excel creates new workbooks with Book 1 as the default title, as you can see here. If we wanted to create a new one while we're working in Book 1, we would go File, New, and again we can choose from Templates or Blank. And as you can see, Excel has created a second workbook for us and called it Book 2. So side by side, we have Book 1, Book 2. If we created a third, Excel would call it Book 3. So we want to save the workbook. So we go to the File menu. This is just one of the many ways. And we click Save As. And in this case, we'll just save it to the OneDrive and we will call it sample file 2. Now one thing you'll note is Excel has automatically updated this so that our file name shows up here in the top where the header is. Now, normally I wouldn't use something as generic as sample file 2. I would save it as something unique. For example, I would call it ABC Company 2014 Quarterly Sales. And again, we want to make sure when we do the file, save as, we want to make sure we pick Excel Workbook. If you've got somebody you know they're working on a previous version, you could save it back to here. But personally, I always use the most current. And older versions, they can install a little plugin that will allow them to access it. If you use the current, you get more functionality. So again, I would use the current format. Okay, so I've caused an issue. Let's just go out. Okay. So in the next section, we'll talk about the basics of text formatting.